I sold my Republic Highway 61 resonator on Reverb.com, but USPS broke it in transit. And after like almost two months, I've finally got my money back because and only because it was insured. So it's it's a good idea to to opt for the insurance when you ship a guitar, even though it's a really painful and long process. But at the end of the day, I finally got my money back. Uh, but there's three things I would like to share with you guys. If you ever find yourself in a similar situation, it might be useful for you guys to know these three things. Well, starting with one of the most important things that USPS will not reimburse you for the original shipping cost, even though they didn't really render the services because the merchandise was broken in transit. So I don't think they deserve that money, but uh, at the time I uh, opted for the insurance, I only paid for the, or it was only for the value of the instrument and I did not include the original shipping cost in there because I thought it should be a default that you get it back. But you don't, even though you have to reimburse it to the buyer on Reverb. So I'm out of like 50 bucks, uh, but I have to say Reverb was very nice and uh, they are trying to hook me up with, with some benefit or, or something so that I won't lose this and uh, it's a good time to shout out to Nate because Re Reverb customer service was very helpful all along the way. Now the second thing is obviously the guitar needs to be inspected by a post office uh, but it has to be you the original shipper or seller who takes it in but it's funny because the guitar is not in your possession anymore so it's already shipped to the address so when my buyer went into the post office he was submitting it for the inspection they told him he cannot submit it but it has to be sent back to me as far as i know they did it for free at least or the buyer did not tell me there was an extra cost involved here but then again we lost more than one week with this so when I finally got back the, the guitar, I went into a post office and they weren't really able to help. So, it, so I had to go to a second post office and it was the fifth person who could help me with my insurance claim. But she was not supposed to be there at the post office at all. It was sheer luck that, that I found her and he was able to help with this claim and the inspection. At the first post office I went to, the guy there, the manager there, told me that, that I can leave the guitar there, but it's, it will be like two, three months easily until someone goes there and inspects it. And I was like, what the hell? But I guess I can swear because it's not a monetized channel. So anyway, I was obviously very, very furious and I tried another post office. I was lucky, but it might not be the case. So this inspection is really, really just annoying and, and painful. The third thing is you will not get your guitar back if you're getting reimbursed. I think it's it's mixed sort of thing. It is not really obvious that you should get guitar back or they should keep the guitar it's it's sad unfortunate but i do see some sort of logic behind this and this, this is arguable whether they are right or not but but i guess by signing or getting the insurance you will implicitly agree to the to their terms anyway these are the three main things just one other thing from me that first of all my my claim was denied because they didn't find the proof of value sufficient. So I had to go back to Reverb and ask for for like a receipt or, or invoice sort of thing that lists the, the item, the price, the seller, the buyer and the transaction took place. I've also printed a PayPal receipt stating that the money indeed were transferred. So for the first appeal, they finally gave me my money which is a good thing and uh, all in all I think what, what the reason I'm, I'm doing this video is not to discourage you 
uh, from opting for the insurance or even even sell guitars online well this was an acoustic guitar resonator and it has already been repaired even though i packed it properly there's a very useful video on reverb.com how to pack a guitar so i uh, i supported the neck i've put in extra uh bubble wrap i bubble wrapped it all around i i did everything that video said to make sure there's no harm to the guitar during the shipment but i guess we all seen videos and and memes about how the parcels are being handled by the u.s post office or any post office over the world anyway i don't again i don't i wouldn't like to discourage you insurance is uh, is really important because at the end of the day i got my money back i just wanted to let you guys know that uh, this is a painful process it's very very annoying takes quite some time almost two months anyway it's a sad story but i hope you might learn something about my experiences and i really really hope you never get in the same shoes